Hey, my bibliophile buddies. <laughs> uh, this book is Confluence by Gemma Chilton. Um, when he gets the call that his mother is sick, Liam decides to return home to the small coastal town where years before his father went missing under strange circumstances. Is Liam finally ready to face his grief head on and find answers about what really happened that night? This one is a self-published book and I don't often take on self-published books much for review anymore, but I really love Australian fiction and writers and the premise of this one really intrigued me. There are some really great gripping crime stories coming out of Australia at the moment and I love them and of course I'm Australian. Um, but this book took me by surprise a little bit because while it is a mystery about a father who goes missing and a son finding answers, that mystery aspect is very satisfying but it's also more than that. I, I think you could call this kind of story Australian Gothic because there's a sense of uncovering secrets, different family generations involved, and the way that nothing is forgotten in a small town. The book is exploring not just what happened in the past, but the looming shadow of the things families don't talk about, and the way that grief and not having closure around that can keep you stuck or make your life take on entirely new and unexpected directions. It also shows different family members coping with this loss. Um, Liam and his mother, the town at large, you can't forget the mystery. I think this was really smartly done. The book could have just been like a normal crime story, like a, a genre story. But the way the author really explores grief and loss, the humanity of it, not the commercial superficial sort of performance of it, makes the book something a bit different. In tone, the book is quite raw and down to earth. The dialogue in this book is very natural and real and the way people interact with each other feels realistic. Loosely, the book alternates between Liam in the present and the past, either from his perspective or his father's. Um, I like the way that because his father went missing when Liam was a child, he doesn't entirely see his father as an adult man but as his personal hero or somebody he looked up to so he's locked into that understanding of his father because he never knew him as an adult but in reality sometimes his father was not well, not a hero was not the most reliable person or the perfect husband for example without giving anything away plot wise this book doesn't shy away from some sex and some more serious themes it's not grotesque but if you like a more squeaky clean story this isn't a cozy mystery it isn't always cute australian stories are often not cute <laughs> but as a mystery and an exploration of a family shattered by and locked in grief it's a very entertaining read so with its central mystery, I think this book would please crime readers or lovers of domestic thrillers. The depth of the characters and the Australian setting make it something just a little bit different. Um, I just want to thank the author for sending me this copy for review. You can find Confluence on Amazon in your country. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.